you have when you have a lifting height of 1900 millimeters, a net lifting height. And, and then you have the cut, so you have a, you cannot really install the lift on a 2.5 meter garage because you will touch the ceiling with the car. So uh, really, 3,900 millimeters is, is not so much. I mean, uh, and however, uh, we have a, a, an adjustable top limit switch. So if this is an issue, if you are working with very high vehicles or you have a very low ceiling, there, we have the flexibility to lower it down. Uh, and as I said before, uh, with the master and slave circuit, uh, you do not have uh, a to be C compliant, uh, you do not need to have the mechanical safety. However, uh, we gave the possibility to install the safety as an optional uh, for the customers that eventually need it. Since uh, we only have uh, three audits going uh, from one post to the other, and uh, one ca uh, we, have, we have no cable going from one port to the other. Uh, basically, we can uh, very easily uh, transform the lift from a base frame version to a portal version, just adding a uh, uh, conveniently designed uh, uh, connection bridge. Even with the portal version, we are under 3,900 millimeters with the full stroke of 1835 uh, lifting, uh, with the lifting stroke of 1835 millimeters. Those, uh, these, uh, uh, those are, uh, uh, this is a comparison chart uh, between some of the competitors' products similar to, to the TPL. And uh, uh, just to make an example, I made a direct comparison between uh, uh, the TPL and the Ravaglioli's KPH363. Uh, the TPL uh, has uh, shorter arms when they are compressed and longer arms when they are extended, which means that our lift is uh, much more flexible because obviously we can work with much shorter and much longer wheelbase vehicles. Uh, KPH is using a two-stage piston. Uh, this means that the KPH is more expensive uh, and less reliable because obviously the two-stage piston is less uh, reliable. Uh, KPH just comes with the base frame version. Ours can be transformed from base frame to portal. And uh, more important, KPH has uh, a cable synchronization, which means that they will meet for sure uh, uh, big issues when they have to see approve the lift according to the new norm. Comparing uh, this lift uh, to rotaries, uh, our lift, uh, as I said, uh, has a symmetric arms, uh, while rotaries uh, are asymmetric, which means again that our lift is more uh, uh, flexible when you have to work on uh, short wheelbase and long wheelbase cars. Uh, A7PI uh, as an old style approval, which means uh, that we will see approved uh, uh, following the old norm, the old norm, and for sure there will be some serious problems when they have passed uh, the new C test. And again, they are using, as uh, I would say, the biggest part of our competition, a cable synchronization, which will meet uh, very big problems when they have to comply with the new norm. Do you have any questions? Yes? Uh, what power that uses is the room? Yeah, there is room, but you, they will provide special roses for the different... Uh, yes, exactly. <laughs> So we will have a tea break, about uh, 5 to 10 minutes, so everybody can enjoy some coffee, toast, and some food. And also during the time, we can also ask Giovanni whatever questions you want to ask, and also if you want to ask me. So enjoy! <laughs> Sorry. You want some more?
Yo sí enjoy, pero... Pero no soy envidioso, pero no. So now we go on uh, to the next lift uh, that we designed, the SLA 309, uh, which is a platform lift designed uh, for the customer that are planning to buy an economic uh, uh, but technically advanced uh, medium light. Uh, medium light because uh, this lift comes, uh, the, the first model, let's say, comes uh, with uh, capacities up to four tons. <coughs> Again, uh, as I said, the lifting capacity uh, is four ton or three point ton. And uh, we when we designed the lift, uh, uh, our intention uh, was again to give something flexible to our customer. So basically we have uh, uh, a standard model of the lift uh, and then uh, if you want you can add additional features like uh, a longer wheel, uh, with a longer platform, uh, wheel lift, uh, wheel alignment uh, uh, specifications, so play detectors and uh, sliding plates uh, or a higher capacity. What is uh, very important is that uh, we try to keep uh, as many parts as possible in common uh, with the two lift uh, I just talked about. So basically the, the hydraulic circuit of this lift uh, is exactly the same uh, hydraulic circuit of the lift uh, uh, that uh, we have just seen with the two lift. Obviously, we choose the master and slave uh, uh, design uh, for the same reason that made us choose uh, this design uh, uh, for the two-post lift, uh, because uh, we feel that this was uh, the system that was giving uh, uh, the best possible precision and possible synchronization between uh, the two, two, two plat platforms. Uh, and also because uh, we have to keep in mind that again, uh, uh, we wanted to be compliant with the new norm, and so we could not really use uh, a synchronization made through cables or a torsion bar. Uh, the lift uh, is equipped uh, again, just like uh, the two-post lift, uh, with a custom-made uh, hydraulic lock that made, makes the installation very convenient and very simple. And each master series cylinder of uh, each platform is equipped also with a parachute valve. Uh, to give the additional safety in the event of a hospital. Just like the two post lift, we do not have any mechanical safety because for the same reason this was not needed. Uh, however, obviously, we have the possibility to install the safety, mechanical safety as an optional. Uh, the synchronization circuit, as I said, is already compliant with the new norm, and uh, not having the mechanical safety, at least in the basic version of the lift, we could eliminate uh, the uh, pneumatic circuit because we don't need any air to run uh, the lift, and uh, ultimately the electric circuit uh, was uh, greatly simplified. This is uh, the hydraulic circuit of the lift. Obviously, in this case, uh, we have uh, two lifts, one on top of the other, because we have uh, a wheel free lift also. Also, the wheel free lift uh, runs uh, on the master and slave circuit. So basically, the hydraulic circuit of the SAE are two of the circuits of the, the TPL joined together. The uh, control box uh, uh, will be obviously much more simple and uh, our control box is already compliant to the future specification given uh, in the new norm. This is uh, the electric circuit of the lift. We will only have uh, uh, one top, uh, one foot protection living switch on each uh, level of uh, lifting level, so we have uh, one foot protection on the main, main lift and one foot, foot protection on the wheel free lift, plus uh, two uh, photo cells to check the synchronization between the platforms. 
all the also the wave relief 